her, she's got some long eyebrows there. Good girl. No. Good girl, Val. That's okay. Good girl. All right. And then just do the same thing on the other side. Angling toward her other eye. Get all that nice and clean. Okay. And if you have um, a dog where, you know, by using the thinning shears, it's you're having a hard time because it's really bulky in here, getting that to blend, which I think is why a lot of groomers will just kind of shave that out because it's just easier. Um, what you can do is um, kind of debulk it with some thinning shears. I'll go in there and kind of come up. Just a few little snips. And I'm doing, I'm, I'm snipping in the direction that her hair is laying. And then I'm gonna take my rake and just rake all this out. No, that's better. You can already see that's not as bulky. I've done that before, but I'm always afraid. I'm always afraid to leave a big hole. It just takes a couple little swipes. Nothing crazy. And then now I can really see better. So I'll go in there and just clean that line up. Good girl, Val. Okay. And then just rake it through after you've thinning sheared that bulk out just to get it to lay. Okay, that's done. And I'm going to trim my eyebrow. And I'm going to do that from this side. Hers are pretty long. So I'm going to find where the corner of her eye is just so I can see what I'm working with here. There we go. Okay. So I'm going to pull all this forward. And I'm using straights. Some people you use curves in reverse. I never got into that. And then I'm straight towards the nose. Good girl. No, nope, Val, it's okay. Good girl. Okay, get the majority of that off so I can see. And now she can see. And then I'll kind of come in. It's okay, Val, good girl and clean up that line. Yeah, I know, your mama said you don't like your head work done. Bless you. Let's <laughs> get this line a little tighter. blend this line right here to pretty much the corner of the mouth. Good girl. That's a good girl. There we go. And then I'll clean up all underneath here. 
right where that whisker is. So I'm not gonna go past that. Don't like the way that's laying, so I'm just gonna kinda go in there and break it apart. And I love this rake. This is the Andis Course Rake. I use it almost on everything. They have a new one that's come out, the Fine, which I use just as much. It's a lifesaver. Okay. This eyebrow. Actually, I can't do that because I haven't clipped that yet. Okay, we'll do that later. So now I'm gonna clean up the ear leather and I'm gonna start by pulling all this hair out with my fingers. And you can see all that hair that's come out. And I'm just gonna take the tips of my scissors using my fingers as a guide, holding the leather so I don't accidentally trim her ear. And I'm just gonna edge this ear. It's okay, honey, good girl. You want to go with the direction of the leather, not against it. Same thing. And still, I'm going to pull all the hair out of this little flap that's right here. Pull that out and edge it. It's okay, Val. Good girl. I just run my finger along the, the ear as I'm moving up. So the scissor is actually hitting my finger before it hits the ear. So that's how I'm not cutting her. All right. And then look. If I see any extra hairs, I'm going to clean that up. You could even go back in there now that the majority of the hair is off and re-edge it with your clipper blade. I used a 40 on the inside to the 15 on the outside. Okay, I can see still too much hair right there for my liking. All right. To blend this with my thinning shears. Okay. As far as I'm concerned, this eye still needs to be taken tighter on the outside. So I'm going to re-scissor that. Right towards the nose. It's okay, Val. There we go. That's better. And then the beard doesn't really get all that much trimming. Um, I, you know, you want to clean up the line just to make sure there's nothing sticking out and it's debulked. Um, if you have a dog that you want to trim the beard on, like if it's really long or the owners want all of this out, I would not shave that, but I would take either my fine Andis rake And then I'll run it through slightly. And then underneath. It's okay, honey. Good girl. It's okay. I'm just cleaning this line up here.
Good girl. Okay, so I'm pretty much done with her head. What I do still need to do is blend this, this clipper line on her neck, because we can't leave it like that. And then I can look and see what I still need to do. So I, I'm gonna take this a little bit tighter because I didn't take this all the way to the seam. I used a nine in reverse. I'm gonna use a 10 just to go straight to the seam. And then just careful not to go past that colic. There we go, that's better. Then I'll pull all this hair down and forward. And blend this with my blenders. to crisp up that line. And then the same thing on the bottom here. Just so there's not such a drastic line. Clean up this line. Behind the ear. Yeah, you can sit, honey, that's fine. That's how I would do my giant schnauzer head. Yep, we're good. 